If you are not using a blend tool in Illustrator, you are probably missing a best portion of digital art. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn very useful tricks in Illustrator. I have put together 4 sections in this video. You will learn very useful tricks that will surely increase your productivity and save a lot of time. I will guarantee you, you are going to learn something interesting from this video. Let's begin. In this one, let us create a cool blending effect. Go ahead and create a circle and fill it with some gradient. And now copy it, keep it aside and fill it with another gradient color, maybe this one. Okay. Select both of them, go to object, blend and make. So what it does, it is blending between these two shapes and the colors. Now select blend, blend options, ok. You see the steps here, there are three steps here, so that's why it has created three steps in between. Ok, so if you go ahead and again go to blend, blend sorry, blend options, you put uh, 10 steps, it is actually creating 10 steps in between, ok. Now copy it, keep it aside. Let's smoothen it more. So go to blend options again. Maybe increase it to 1500. Okay, see it is very nice effect here. Now let's try to create a path. Okay. You, this, the spiral path, if you don't find it, you click the toolbar edit, you will find it here. Simply drag and drop it on your toolbar. There are a lot of useful toolbars here, which you can actually drag and drop here. Now, I have it already here, so let me put it and let me make, let's extend this, just take a pencil tool and draw it and connect it, select them, join, okay, now you can actually smoothen the curves as well, so you just, there is a smooth tool as well, go ahead and do it and play with, just create a path, whatever the path it is. Now select the path and the shape which we have created, go to blend and replace spline. See it has started filling that particular shape into this path. So go ahead and do it with the other one. You see here, now it is actually creating 10 steps in between. Now if you increase it to 150, you see, you make it to 200, you see it is actually creating 200 steps in between these two ends, okay. So simply go back to the path and select the smooth one, create blend and replace spline. So it's amazing. So now actually you can actually select the two circles on the end and you can actually scale it. Press the alt button so it will start to scale from the center of the circle. So now you can actually reduce it. So now if you want to flip the side, let's say you can right click, arrange and send backward. So the other end has become the front, the, this end has become the back. So you can actually go ahead and play can move it to whatever it is so you play with whatever the shape it is so blend tool is a very useful tool so you can create interesting artworks out of this so play with it so that's it with this let's move on to the another one okay in this one just go ahead and create a new layer go turn on the grid if you don't find this just go to view show grid or yeah here yeah. And then snap to grid as well. Okay, so just go ahead and create a circle. Press the Alt button so it will start from the center. Okay, let's create you know circles all around it. So go ahead and create another circle. Go ahead and create another circle. Select these two. Okay, and copy paste in place. 
and click rotate 60 degree and you make a copy it will rotate do the same thing copy paste in place do the same rotation so it has created the shape so now just move it aside copy it and just now select the shape click shape builder okay just start to drag okay we are okay with this shape select the shape copy it and delete the rest of the ones now paste it fill it with some gradient maybe this one okay now let's rotate this all around to create a nice interesting shape so select it rotate click rotate and press the alt button so it will pick the center and now you, it rotates a 60 degree now you want to do repeat the rotation simply command d so it will remember the previous setting and it will start to follow it. see it's very nice now go ahead and create another circle let's create another pattern okay now select go to effect distort and transform and click transform now this brings in this window so you can play with the values here so basically you click the preview and give a couple of copies let's say six copies and let's increase it to let's say 10 percent okay 110 110 so basically this shape will be scaled and rotated at like 30 degrees or 20 degrees and every time it shapes it creates the 10 percent incremental so if you increase to 120 so it creates that shape so if you give you 150 on one direction horizontal directions you see it start to create a very nice shape so you play the values it's a nice shape so you just, the moment you start to play with the values you start to create a nice shapes so let's say 120 120 and give number of copies to be like 8 see it creates this nice concentric effect so you can play with it play with the colors and everything until you are happy with it now let's go ahead and create another one create a circle again go to effect distort and transform click transform effect this brings in this window now put in the same values like you know 15 degrees like you know play with the horizontal scale and vertical scale and this time you play with the move values horizontal it moves 5 millimeter on both and if you put 5 millimeter on the vertical as well so it start to move so if you put 10 so you start to play with the value so you see moment you start to play with move values it start to rotate at whatever the degrees you give and you start to rotate and scale so it creates a nice effect you know very nice so you can go ahead and scale and do whatever it is you fill in with play with the colors it creates this nice effect okay let's keep it aside Let's do another one, create a circle, distort, transform effect. Now again play with the values here. This time let's play with uh, the move values only and the angle 10 degrees and scale. the moment you start to play with the values here it starts to create this nice patterns so, so you see you increase the scale now you can actually uh, reflect x direction y direction you play with you know random values it creates a nice patterns you start to play with the values you see the geometry it creates a very nice geometric shapes all this is all happening just with circle imagine if you are playing with different shapes it gives you wonderful 
geometric effect now play with the values you are until you are happy with it okay now you can actually go ahead and play with colors some different gradients as well yeah nice with this one we can create a nice effect just go ahead and copy it and select them go to object and expand appearance now it every circle has become individual now you select each one of them and give a different gradient play with it it gives you nice effect that's just an idea so you can go ahead and play so that's it with this one let's move on to the another one okay with this one let's go ahead and create a rectangular shape a square go to object pass split into grid so click preview give 10 degrees uh, sorry 10 rows and 10 columns okay select all of them go ahead distort and transform click pucker and blot okay now if you go negative it contracts and if you go positive it bulges so it's blotting basically so so play with the values so it creates a nice shape see very nice one so now this time let's create polygonal shape just let's create hexagon okay now let's try to rotate it now go ahead and copy it and do the same thing just scale it a little bit okay while dragging press alt so it snaps it and then you press command D it repeats now again go to effect distort and transform pack and blot go to negative you see it creates a nice shape so this is with the hexagon so now so if you go on if you go on with different geometric shapes like octagon and or any polygonal shape it will give you a very nice effect so let's go ahead and play with whatever the way you feel like let's keep it aside just rotate it and keep it aside just just here okay now let's go to another polygon to create a polygon okay select the polygon and go to effect F distort and transform pucker and blot now go give 100% blotting now again go to effect transform effect it brings in so play with the scale value And give an angle as well and number of copies let's create 20 okay you see it start to create this shape we start to rotate so basically it is taking that particular shape and start to rotating so if you try to uh, just make it as a con uh, center gradient and start to play with see start to play with the colors beautiful so it's all just with one hexagonal shape and blotting and transforming it you can actually scale it so press the alt alt key while scaling so it scales by itself see beautiful so you can play with any shape come back here and then give an pucker effect or blotting effect and go and transform it it creates a very nice geometric shape so you can use you can use these for any of your artworks Okay, that's it with this one let's move on to the another one okay another one just go ahead and create a circle and go to effect distort and transform pucker and blot select preview go to a negative 75 go to transform again preview give copies to 15 give an angle as 10 degrees 
now let's play it with the move option now just move only horizontally to ammo and give a scale effect you see we start to create this nice effect just with simple settings so give a, a stroke so it's, it's very nice now scale it a little bit just press all move it aside Okay, go ahead and create another circle. Okay, same effect. Start and transform. Up and blot. Now go to positive 75. Okay, blotting. It creates the shape. Go to distort, transform. Now let's give scale 110. And preview it. Give 10 copies same horizontal to them so play with the value give the angle play with the values you see it start to rotate start to create a nice shape amazing so same shape with the same almost the same value it creates a nice effect so one is one is negative and one is positive side you see Scale it, keep it aside. Now, maybe change the gradient. See, it's beautiful. And give stroke as well. See, it's very nice effect just with circle. And give this for another color. Amazing. Now, let's create another one. Turn on the grid. Go ahead and create this grid effect. Just fill it with white color and start to copy it. Okay. Put it on the other direction as well. Okay, it's kind of a grid pattern. Okay, select them. Rotate it 45 degree, copy it. Now select these two, go to blend option. Okay. Okay, blend between shapes. So it has created this pattern. Now go ahead and create a spiral uh, path. Okay. Scale it. Just move it aside and then give a stroke and okay, now you can actually extend this click the pencil tool and draw something and then join this okay now select these two go to blend and re replace spline see it's created this nice effect so you can go ahead and play like the way how we have played with the previous ones so you can go ahead and play with the shapes and scale and front and back so you can do all of them that's it for now i hope this was very helpful if you like this video i would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that would give me a motivation to do more videos and if you specifically want to know any trick kindly do let me know in the comments below i will try my best to make a video thanks for watching